before that, I already uh, worked on Batman Begins and The Ring 2. These were actually the first bigger projects. And then in LA, after I was uh, at Remote Control for one and a half years and assistant to Adli Orison, I basically went on my own and started uh, to get into projects with Danny Elfman in the meantime. I worked on Fifty Shades of Grey. I actually just did some work for him on uh, The Girl on the Train, which is a movie he's currently working on. And then also worked for two Austrian composers, Harald Klose and Thomas Wander. Uh, they did White House Down. That was the first project I did for those guys in 2014. We just worked on Independence Day 2, so Independence Day Resurgence. One, one way of doing it might be, I, don't know, I have a melody already in my head, which is catchy, which could work. Then I put this down, even if it's just a piano, to get the basic idea of the melody down. That's one option. The other option is that I play around uh, with Biotech, obviously, because you also sent me the latest sound sets. Oh, this one sound designer. And uh, so I played through the sounds. And sometimes also an inspiration can come from there. And with the latest demo uh, track that I did for you guys, it was like a combination of both. I still try to keep, uh, keep anything just from the plugin. So the only thing which you might see once in a while are literally a handful of compressors on the actual biotech plugins to get the dynamics a little bit in a different uh, direction. Other than that, it's literally just a biotech. So there's no external effects on it. It's literally just a master compressor here. And there's one break where I did a lot of like automations here and you see like all the different parameters that are moving here then in the screen domain uh, here and stuff like that. So, you know, so just doing the overall uh, main changes already on the front panel can help, but obviously I also use, you know, some controllers that I set up like mod wheel and stuff like that right. inside the plugin, which is now super easy to do. That, that was a fun change to see that actually uh, now in the new version. But overall, literally, like I had a couple of ideas. One of the ideas was literally like this melody line that I, uh, based on one of the sounds uh, that I got from you. Um, this is like uh, swim keys here. Uh, this is this idea here and this sound, which I found really nice and like a cool texture to it. And then I was at the very end, I went a little bit dancey, a little bit inspired by stuff like that. Now there's like a, a like these quick square sequences, something that looks like that here. So the, the, the plugin itself is like very interesting in the sense of like, you know, being very, being able to very quickly change sounds and uh, go back and forth between different uh, uh, filter settings and stuff like that. That's really what I like about the new interface. What's been done now with the opening up all these parameters, these sound uh, design parameters to the public, this uh, is something that I myself as a sound designer obviously love and the way it, how it is structured now and how simple the interface is, is I think really a, a great way forward for the uh, uh, plugin. So yeah, this is the uh, super saw pad that I did here. It has a little bit of an LFO um, modulation in it. And this works brilliantly in context, for instance, with this like square plug sound that I did uh, here in this like dance section here. And it allows you to very quickly do sound edits, even if you're not really a big sound designer. It's just a quick uh, filter change or like an EQ here and, there and stuff like that. I think this will this will uh, put the biotech to another level. I really like that addition. This was this was a great move.